What are your thoughts on multiverses? Well, you see, this is different because mm. this is a, what's sequential. Yeah. So I don't call it a multiverse. They each influence the next one, and so they're not independent worlds. Right, but in the, 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 the possibility of independent... Yeah. Well, you see, there are two reasons for believing in multiverses. One of them is the quantum reason that maybe we have the Schrodinger's dead cat and the live cat, they're in different worlds mm -hmm. and they're separate universes. I don't believe that argument. I don't think that's the right way to look at quantum mechanics, but many people do. And that suggests that you might have these multiple universes in some sense. What's unattractive about that to you? It doesn't explain what we see. So you want a theory which explains the world we see. Mm -hmm. And the world we see, you get collapse. The, the state does and to explain that, well, it's only because we've drifted off into some world and another version of ourselves has drifted into another one and some see one and the others see the other and they're all in superposition. It doesn't explain why you see one world. It, it just has this kind of coherence. I mean, lots of people try and there are many attempts at this sort of thing. It's, it's quite a widely held view. Mm -hmm. And if you believe quantum mechanics, that the collapse is not real and it doesn't happen. And all the alternatives, the dead cat and the light cat coexist in different worlds. That's the interpretation. That's a view. I don't think that I want, I want an explanation for the world we, we, we live in. <laughs> and you mm. don't see cats, <laughs> different worlds with cats and well, it's a long story. Right. I mean, it's clearly it's a view you can hold to, and if you don't want a monkey with quantum mechanics, it's where you're led. So that's that's right. That's the alternative. Either you don't make a single try to change quantum mechanics at all, and then you are led to this multi-world, many many world picture. I think it even doesn't make that much sense. So you've got to be careful about it. Hmm. That whether they are really like different distinct worlds, I don't think it really my view is it doesn't really work but let me not try and attack that i think i have a different view which is that the theory is not quite quite right right and that um, there is something which makes the the collapse into a physical process and uh, the, the that's there's only one world now the other many worlds view which is comes from a different reason and that is that there you see there seem to be various accidents um, in well, maybe one of them being that the neutron is just slightly more massive than the proton. That's one. There are lots of other accidents we see that if they were a little different, then life as we know it couldn't happen. Mm. And so, how do you explain this? Well, some people say, well, all these universes with different values of these constants all coexist. It's just we only see the one that we're in because the numbers come out right for us. So that's what's called an anthropic argument. Mm. Okay, I can see the argument. I don't like it much. It's sort of, I think we need a better explanation for why the numbers are what we see and so on. But that's, that, that one makes more sense to me than the other one. So, so I think one can, maybe he has to take that seriously. But it's certainly not the view I'm presenting here with this picture. It's... For someone like me, it's so interesting to know that there's still a considerable amount of speculation. Yes. Oh, yeah. Well, it's it's. there's a lot of speculation, but a lot of it is pretty off the wall. And a mm. lot of people think mine are off the wall, you see. <laughs> right. Well, think, who's, to, okay, who's okay, to say? Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm an old man now. And so, it's, okay, you know, did th decent things in the past, but you should just trust this views now, you see. <laughs> so I, I guess that's what people think. I don't know. But you see, if it was just me, I could understand that. Thing. Right. But I've got these Polish, and I've got an Armenian colleague who's done things on this too. And uh, it can't be that we're all, all off the rails, I think. <laughs> no, it there's, can't be. There's it's something out there, and now with the hawking points, there's something people can really go out and look for. And if they don't see them, there's something funny going on somewhere. If they do see them, there's something else going funny on, which, which they'll have to think of another explanation, unless it's my explanation. They'll have to think of a, a different view from the current inflation view, which is in real trouble with these observations as far as I can see.